Hello everyone and welcome back to another X-Plane 12 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download ortho tiles for X-Plane 12. Now open your file explorer and go to wherever your downloaded files are. In here you should find a 7-zip file called ortho4xp. All we need to do to make this file work is extract it using 7-zip. If you don't already have 7-zip the link is down below. Now right click and then extract it using 7-zip. Next, open the file and click binary. Now, scroll all the way down until you find the ortho4xb application. Once you find it, open it. Now that the application is open, let's start at the top. First, let's look at imagery. Under imagery, there are many different map choices. I would ignore all of them but Google and Bing. These two produce the best satellite imagery out of all of them. I personally prefer Bing, however you can choose whichever one you prefer. The next setting to the right is the zoom level. This is basically the quality of the ortho. The higher the zoom level, the higher the resolution is, but if it gets too high, the file size can become extremely large. In my opinion, zoom level 16 does great. Next, click on the screwdriver icon. First, go down to the bottom and click on the top blue folder. Now, go to your X-Plane 12 folder and click on Custom Scenery. Then, select the folder. With that, click on the bottom blue folder. Now go to X-Plane 12, Global Scenery, and finally X-Plane 12 Global Scenery. Now, select the folder. With that, click Apply. The next step is optional, but if you want your ortho to look a little better, copy all these settings above. Just go ahead and pause the video. Finally, once you're done, click Apply and Exit. Next, click on the globe icon. Once you've clicked on it, a map should have appeared. This is where you're going to select your desired tiles. Today, I want a tile of the Louisville area. So I'm going to move all the way to the United States and using the shift key, I'm going to left click my desired area and this will create a tile there. Now, finally, double click the tile and a yellow box should appear around it. With that, minimize the map. This next step is optional. If you don't have any airports you plan on flying into in this tile, you can skip this part. But if you do, first click on the magnifying glass icon. This setting will show a preview of the whole tile we are downloading. Next, make sure your source is the map you selected on the home page. Now, if you want, you can make the zoom level lower, but I always put mine to 13 so I can see the airport clearly. It will take a few seconds to load, but once it does, you will see the satellite imagery of your tile. Now, search for the airport you plan on using in this tile. It may take a bit. Once you find it, you will see multiple different zoom levels on the left side. First, click on zoom level 17. Next, hold down control and left click in an area around the airport. A large yellow box should appear. Now, just repeat the process all the way around the airport. Next, click on zoom level 18. Repeat the same thing you did with zoom level 17, just closer to the airport. Finally, once you're done with zoom level 18, do the same thing with 19, but do it even closer to the airport. We just made the orthos around the airport way more detailed. If you're worried about space, you can look under the zoom levels to see added size to the file. With that, click apply and exit. Now, go back to the minimize map screen where we selected our tile. Here, under batch build tiles, check all the boxes. Finally, select batch build and exit. Now, the ortho tile is downloading. For me, on average, it takes about 10 minutes to finish downloading, but it can vary depending on internet speed. Now, after 9 minutes and 57 seconds, the download process is complete. So now, we can finally click the power off icon. But, unfortunately, we're not done. Now, go back into your file explorer and go into your ortho 4xp folder. In here, we are looking for two specific folders. The overlay folder and the tiles folder. First, let's go into the tiles folder. Now, all we need to do is extract this tile into our custom scenery folder. To do that, just open another file explorer and find your X-Plane 12 folder. 
From here, go into your custom scenery folder. Now, just drag in your tile. Now, go back to your Ortho 4XB folder and find your Ortho Overlay. Just drag the overlay into custom scenery as well. With that, open X-Plane 12 to your home page. Once it's loaded, just close it again. You need to do this so your scenery.ini folder can read the new scenery. Now, go back into your file explorer, then go to your X-Plane 12 folder, and then into custom scenery. In here, scroll all the way down until you see your scenery packs file. Here, you should see your ortho tile and overlay. First, cut your ortho tile and paste it all the way at the bottom of the list. Then, do the same thing for your ortho overlay, just make sure it's right above global airports. Finally, hit close and save. So that's it for today's tutorial, everything should be working perfectly. I know downloading ortho for the first time can be really confusing and difficult. I tried my best to make everything make sense. If it did not work the first time, I would fully delete the ortho and retry, this usually works for me. But if you still have problems after that, just DM me on Discord and I'll make sure to help you. The link to my Discord server is in the description, you can DM me from there. Finally, how do you guys like X-Plane 12? To be honest, I was really disappointed. My sim feels so bland. X-Plane 11 just felt better and more vibrant. I know that's because I had a lot of add-ons to help me with that, but still, after all those years, I expected way better. It's almost like they rushed it. But hopefully, over time, we'll see some great improvements and lots of add-ons to make it feel like a good simulator again. Let me know how you guys feel because I know a lot of people are very disappointed in it, but I also have seen a lot of positive things about it. Thank you.